the topic for the present video is ICH 23A guideline for impurities in the new drug substances. ICH guidelines are there for quality, safety, efficacy, and multidisciplinary guidelines for the pharmaceutical formulations and the drug substances. ICH guidelines are there to ensure the safety and efficacy of the pharmaceutical formulations. Out of these, ICH Q3 guideline is for impurities and in this video we are going to learn about the ICHQ3A guideline which is for impurities in the new drug substances. See impurities are not the part of API, these are not the part of excipients and impurities may be toxic in nature. So potency of the API get affected leading to effect on to the safety and efficacy. ICS guidelines harmonizes to ensure the global drug safety, efficacy and the quality. This guideline provides guidance on impurities in the new drug substances or you can say the APIs that is active pharmaceutical ingredients. This guideline ensures the impurities are controlled so that the public health can be protected. It deals with the classification of impurities, what are different sources and the acceptable limits of impurities. Also it covers methods for identification, qualification and quantification. The objective of ICHQ3A guideline is to control impurities to ensure the drug safety without impacting the efficacy. There are different type of impurities in the drug substances which are organic, inorganic and residual solvents. So organic impurities may be coming from the starting materials, these may be the byproducts, in intermediates, degradation products, reagents and catalysts which are used in the synthesis of the API. Also some impurities may be there like nitrosamines and mutagenic type of impurities. Inorganic impurities come from the residual metals, inorganic salts and other inorganic substances. Residual solvents are the impurities which are volatile in nature and these come from the solvents used or produced during the synthesis. All these type of impurities are required to have stringent control and these are to be control with the specific acceptance criteria as per the regulatory requirements. Sources of impurities may be starting material, process related impurities and degradation products. Starting material impurities may come from the raw materials, intermediates. Also these may come from the containers. Process related impurities are byproducts, intermediates and degradation products. Degradation products may form during the synthesis or during the storage period or shelf life. Degradation products are formed due to the storage conditions or due to the chemical changes. Also these degradation are formed because of the humidity temperature and light exposure. ICSQ3 A guideline provides the information and understanding for identification and qualification criteria for impurities. Identification meaning is uh, detecting and characterizing the impurities or making the unidentified impurity as identified, knowing its structure. Qualification means evaluating the safety of the impurities which are above the qualification threshold. Identification is detection, de de identification means to detect and characterize the impurities. Identification thresholds are based on daily dose. Drug substance with a daily dose of less than 2 gram or 2 gram per day, the identification limit is 0.1%. For drug substances with daily dose of 2 gram or above, the identification threshold is 0.05%. Qualification means evaluating the safety for impurities above qualification threshold. 
and these qualification thresholds are also given on the basis of maximum daily dose drug substances with less than 2 gram or 2 gram daily dose it is 0.15% it is somewhat higher or relaxed limit compared to the identification limit and if the drug substance is having the limit of uh, if the drug substance is having the daily dose of uh, 2 gram above the qualification threshold will be 0.05 percent so this is regarding the identification and qualification of impurities coming to the identification and qualification example of identification is given drug with daily dose of 1 gram impurity is at 0.12 percent and exceed the limit of 0.1 percent threshold so it must be identified and qualification drug with daily dose of 3 gram impurity is at 0.04 percent which exceeds 0.03 percent threshold it must be qualified coming to the control strategies for impurities specifications setting is required so set the acceptable impurity limits then develop the analytical methods and validate these analytical methods so that it will be sensitive for the impurity detection try to control the process and control the process parameters to minimize impurity formation via optimized reaction conditions and the materials for drug substances coming to the regulatory and practical considerations regulatory compliance required by the fda e ema and other regulatory bodies challenges developing accurate methods qualifying unknown impurities achieving global compliance is very much challenging and in conclusion we can say that ich q3 guidelines are there to ensure the drug safety through the control of the impurities so this is the brief overview regarding ich q3a and in the upcoming videos i will explain about the other guidelines many videos are available on to the impurities impurity calculations and many other topics so i suggest you to go through those videos to have a good understanding about these topics thank you